I'm pretty big now. Did your everything <laughs> drop? <laughs> you have a wonderful day. We love you. As well. <laughs> we love Yeah. We do. Bye-bye. Normally they say it back, but... <laughs> it's okay. It's a new one. I just want to remind love, everyone the darkest part of the day is the day. Zog's gift? Zog's gift? I gave it to one of your squires. Squire? I I don't. No, not that easy one. The, the other one, the other little red one. I the stubby red one. Luca? The life of a torchbearer is the life of neutrality. Hello, Father Zog. How are you? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Me and Sideshow are, are um, helping out the Calx miners near the Fabernum Calx River. Just, you know, showing them the ways, how to play the game. You know, live in Nave, and that's, that's really the best gift of all of living in Fabernum, you know? Oh, 100% Father Zog. Don't you agree, Apprenti? Ah, oh, it's the best thing about living in Fab. Yeah, yeah I like you. I like this new one. I like you, what too! You Thank you. Hey, he's a, he's a nice meaty cock as well. Does that thing talk? You ever have a I've, queef? I've never, I've never Father tried. Father Zog, Sideshow Bob, I have one question for thee. You speak of traveling adventures across the land to help others in the caves across the world. Would you not want two brave torchbearers lightening your way? I have trained them in arts that you couldn't even imagine. We're so well trained. All right. yeah. So well yeah, trained. Let's take a trip. Oh. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Humphrey? <laughs> An adventure! Come on, guys. Let's go! We will yeah, illuminate it. He's not very good at riding horses. Ah. ah. The guy's a horse himself. I mean, look at him. We'll just Hop on, on Varric! <laughs> I would love... <laughs> there we go. He is the best horse, but he just doesn't do well. I, we apologize for the inconvenience. We might, we might need your help carrying some things. That's okay. We're like pretty much really good at that. Yo. You may re not remember me, but me and my daughter were in Tindrum, and we had like uh -huh. a duel. We were fighting. <gasps> I so remember you. It's so good to see you. I hope you're so Dude, well. Tell me why, like after that night, for like the next three days, this fucking little girl, bro, was like. Quoting you non stop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <She> was... <laughs> dude. It was so fucking funny, bro. She's like, I'm a torch bearer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I it's love it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, it was fucking go. Cool. Um, she's gonna be so hyped. Tell her I said hello, and it's such a pleasure to see oh. you, Blackie Chan. Can I just say that I've been waiting a long time for this moment with you two? Okay? Ah, yes. I really can't blame them. You know, we're, we're quite... Oh, quite quite amazing. Quite wonderful. You know, I used to be a calx farmer. A coke farmer, really. I turned that oh. calx right into powder, make some coke. I used to be a jungle boy back in the day. I have a house. You, you can take the torchbearer out of the jungle, but you can't take the jungle out of that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, now, quiet down, quiet down. We, we like to surprise the calx miners oh, so they can oh. learn the most efficiently. Ah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they don't think we're here to help, but we really are. Oh, it's for teaching, I see. Yeah, they learn a lot of lessons here. 45 degree angles, apprentice. Make sure they don't trip. Watch your feet, boys. Good hmm. thing you brought us along. It would have been funny yeah. looking for those calx miners tripping on your ass. Yeah. Now, Varric has been in the business for a very long time. If you guys are just heathens, tell me so, because even the criminals deserve light. We're, we're fine we're... heathens. Educators. Define, yeah, define heathen. Uh... If you really want a definition from me, you were all angels and I love you the same. We can be a little mischief mischievous. Oh, and we love you for it. That's why these adventures are just so grand. That's why we just like to illuminate the way and watch the adventurers do as they please. Do, do you think do if I start burn? making bird noises? Like they'll think our presence is birds. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Ah! 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 Ah!
Perfect. We found that that student down here, remember? <laughs> yeah, we did. Distance can't really be a means of, you know, being educated. My, my mother always said, the further away you are, the dumber you are. I, that's that's what I always heard. My mom also said to stay away from rivers because it puts out your torch. Was your mother a torchbearer as well? Oh, the most honorable of torchbearers, you see. Sadly, my father was lost only three years ago in F Tower, or Fab Tower. He's one of the braziers at the bottom next to the Gravelord. The Gravelord is actually our butler, you see. And he's taken over our entire family. Yeah, that guy's a jerk. Dick. Well, next time you guys go, bring me along so I can give him a nice slap in the fucking head. As a torchbearer different parts of this world. Beacons of light, really. Divine powers that bring happiness to this toxic and dark, dark, dark place. I, I never thought I'd become a teacher, but look at me now. Educator. Yeah, you two do seem very studious. Oh, an educational blade. I bet their minds are as sharp as their swords. Don't Sharper you agree, Apprentice? I do. I do. Wait. Pause. Do you smell that? Over this way. He can track a torch for miles. Caught a whiff? A whiff or something? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I forgot that I peed here yesterday. I was picking up on my own track. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh silly, you silly Silly Varric. me. Silly oh. Varric. River. Oh, oh! It's a beautiful river. It is. It's perfect for pissing. Oh, oh! Are you guys gonna kill us, please? Oh, please. we would honor our deaths. I was about to say this would be a good place on this bridge. I'd be a beautiful I'd be like, place. Make us walk off the bridge. Make it at least fancy. Oh, it'd be beautiful. No, you just fall in the water. You could, you know, just well, hurt us a lot and then make us walk yeah. off, and then the fall would surely kill us. <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you guys want it, don't you? you we love dying! Masochist. It's yeah. part of our... You guys could pay us in our own death. It is the preferred method of payment. Come on. Fortune favors the bold. Unless if you're bald. Yeah. Those guys have bad luck. Oh. <laughs> We're all bald. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Doesn't, this doesn't bode well. This, uh, <laughs> oh, shit, that all. explains a few things. Oh, okay, yeah. You fucking say, unless you're bald, and they both take their helmets off at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> School's out for session. We don't need no education. Watch out, Apprentice. Fucking hate Scruffy. Always nibbles at my torch, calls me names, barks at me. I don't like the way he looks at me. Like he wants something, but he, but he's looking at you like, I'll just take it. You know. I didn't bring my legendary torch on this, unfortunately. But there's been many donators. Hand us torches. Do you need a torch? We have seventeen each. Oh, I have a torch. You can always you use six more. more. Let me get you a proper one. One that you could at least hit someone with. I shall illuminate you, master! Now, a proper eight torches is enough for a journey, you see. Apprentice, give Father Zog some torches, please. Oh, like I'd be honored! Not equipped. Jesus Christ. And a rose. Always a rose. You'd rather you'd rather have a torch and not need it than need one and and not have five.